little video is on hip abduction. Now we do this often in Pilates and 50s plus. We even use this in the Zumba classes that we run, but these exercises can be done at any point. They're great for toning and strengthening in this outer thigh and hip area if you do them correctly. When we do a hip extension, we want to have everything square to the front. So the hip, the knee, and the foot directly to the front. And if I soften my knee, it helps my balance. Now when I go to do this hip extension, I'm lifting and lowering. Now, you can see I'm not going very high, and I'm already feeling that in my hip. So I'm just lifting and lowering, as long as my hip, my knee, and my toes point to the front then I'm going to hit right at that outer thigh and hip area. So if I move my arm out the way you can see. So that way I know, I can feel it straight away. I don't need to go any higher to feel that. Now sometimes you might see people doing this kind of thing with their hip, their hip abduction. What is probably a few things that could be going wrong is their bottom is sticking out. So as soon as you stick your bottom out, you can lift that leg higher. The other Thing that tends to happen is their foot starts to turn away out to the side and then that makes it easier to lift the leg higher so all this pushing back and turning the foot out will change how that works so you want to keep the hip knee and foot directly to the front and if you're doing it correctly that is all I need to do and I can really feel that targeting my hip and outer thighs so give it a go make sure you've got your foot from start to finish, pointing directly to the front. You make sure that your bottom is not sticking out and it's just in that same nice, tall posture and alignment. And I can guarantee you, if you have it all in the right position, you will feel this exercise working on the outer thigh and hip area.